Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And uh, now, right now I'd like to talk about a preview and uh, a rollback of, on, the, on your current timeline, your awareness timeline, which I've discussed in past, but I might have a little additional information right now. This is about surfing your own timeline that, that you're in right now, that you've chosen and optimized, hopefully. Uh, surfing it <clears throat> forwards and backwards. So, as you probably know, the way to find out something that just happened in your consciousness that was input from someone else, such as a spell or a curse, the way to find that out um, is to is to say roll back, roll back. And as you roll back, you may want to, to move your eyes from right to left, quickly from right to left, as if you were scanning backwards on a page towards the beginning of a paragraph that you just read, like this, you go, roll back, right? And then listen, and you should hear, clairaudiently hear, uh, whatever it was that was said in the subconscious mind of someone else um, with regard to you, or any words that were said on the conscious level, too, with regard to you. Um, I've been using this technique for years, and for me it works very well, and I suspect it will work well for you, too. Then recently, because I've used it so, so very much, I, um, I also just abbreviate it, and I might just move my eyes like that from right to left, or I might say roll and just move my eyes from right to left and get the same results. So you don't have to broadcast anything on the clear hearing plane in order to achieve a, a, a jump, a small jump, from the current time to the just past time. So more recently, I've been using a preview technique for what's about to happen. Um, and that's just the opposite. You, you move your eyes as if you were reading something on a page um, from left to right. And at the same time, you say preview. So it goes like this, preview. You know, I'm exaggerating. Preview, right? And so you could also just move your eyes like that, which frequently I do. And you should get a feel for like the movement, um, the movement of energy um, around you, like in the world around you, coming up in the near future, like right away. Um, you can use this to test for danger, for instance, uh, in, in a path you're about to take, a course you're about to take. Um, keeping in mind that in every moment, um, there's a spin-off of many alternate realities in many timelines with each choice that's made in your awareness timeline. So the farther you go afield from the current moment now, um, the less likely that your, that your preview will be true. So, so this preview works for the, near, the very near future, the next few steps. The, the view around the corner, as it were, around the corner of the timeline that previously was not visible to you. Now you may be wondering about farther out along the timelines, right? Either in the past or in the future. When we do loops on timelines to repair something that's, that is um, coming up in the future, like the issue of the grays that came up some years ago, right around the time of the shift, there was a, a very large timeline regarding the gray incursion into the present then, and the attempts of the left brain, um, uh, soulless culture of the grays that, that humanity had become to, um, to, to stop the, the ascension or awakening process that was happening just then. And what happened at that time was the merging of those two timelines and all of the um, terrible um, karmic consequences of the series of decisions that were made by humankind 
on the gray timeline were merged with the awakening timeline, the timeline of the process of awakening that, that we, we're now placing our awareness in as Gaia and as humankind. So, so that was a rough time just then, a very rough time that, that all of humankind decided to, um, to transform with the light, I'm happy to say. Uh, so anyway, we sometimes do that. We merge uh, timelines that are coming in the future and which would be disastrous for humankind with the current moment now, and we, we transform them to the light. So that in effect that timeline becomes part of the current awareness and no longer an alternate reality. Um, so we can also roll back to say instances of soul wounding for ourselves and others in the current timeline. We can roll back and we can transform those to the light so that they actually never existed on our timeline anymore. Then that way we can clear, completely clear the uh, electromagnetic field of ourselves and of others. This is a wonderful, uh, simple healing uh, process. Uh, another um, a way to deal with this that is described in delightful detail by Swami J. That's S-W-A-M-I-J dot com is uh, the technique called uncolorizing or an uncolorization, which worked for me quite well, as it, it too. And uh, then there's another technique of, of observing anomalies in the electromagnetic field or in the energy field of the, uh, of the various subtle bodies of the human, um, and waiting and allowing awareness itself, which is of God, of a divine nature, allowing that awareness to transform that anomaly, that dark area uh, of soul wounding to the light. So, uh, so, but anyway, we're talking about timelines, not he other healing techniques. So this is a timeline healing techniques. Now I mentioned earlier that previews become murky at distance, that's at a, at a distance in time, a great distance in time because of alternate timeline spin-offs, which cloud the picture, create a numerous possibilities for the future. So, so the question arises, how then can we best work with future timelines far out on the timeline, farther out than a nanosecond or two, farther out than five or ten minutes one way or the other? Um, so, for instance, how were we able to work with the gray timeline in, in a few years ago? How were we able to do that? The gray timeline is a special instance because amongst the grays, there were those who journeyed back in time to, to our current awareness timeline time and again so that there became a literature that grew up over, uh, over the existence of the grays that became known in our current, current present moment. And so knowing about them, knowing about that timeline, we were able to work with it and dissolve that karma. But in general, for timelines that are unknown, and of which there are, there are countless timelines and countless alternate worlds, there's the only way to work with those timelines because of the vast number of iterations is to, um, to expand our awareness into the higher dimensions and allow the higher dimensions to deal with this. You can look at that as God or the angelic realm, the Davic realm. You can look at that as your own highest self, your own greatest self, which is your soul in alignment with God. It doesn't matter how you see it, okay? As long as you're able to call upon that, um, that greater wisdom, that vast wisdom, that that amazing ability to synchronize everything. So the way that we've been doing it amongst the awakening um, teachers, the way that we've been doing it is to, uh, to align with Source, with God, or with the physical sun, if, you know, if God doesn't work, and down into the center of Earth 
through our horror line, which is a vertical line, which goes from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. And then uh, as an extension, as you imagine, connecting with the center of the earth and the center of the sun or with source, um, then you begin to expand into your own uh, higher dimensions or to call upon them. So in, in my timeline optimization um, um, activations, I say spirit to team. Spirit to team is another way of activating um, the higher dimensions, of, of rising to those. Spirit to team. The team is interdimensional. Angels, beings of light, God himself, all that, right, are on your team, right? So either through a visualization of the horror line connecting far beyond your body, below and above, or else through calling on your team or calling on God, you can, you can ex expand your connection with the higher dimensions. All right, so that's why we talk about things like that. From these higher dimensions, then, the optimization of timelines can proceed. See? Okay, so it says here, we call forth the optimum timeline among those million iterations, those nanosecond spin-offs of alternate worlds. And we name this timeline as our awareness timeline. This awareness timeline is the optimum timeline for merging and transforming all the rest. Okay? So, not without the help of our team or our higher dimensions. So that's, that's that story for now.